Let us pray. Almighty Heavenly Father, your name, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua, in this moment, Father, I truly, truly thank you and glorify your name alone. Almighty Heavenly Father, in this moment, I'm sending out the message towards your sons and daughters all over the world. Father Almighty, pour out the Holy Spirit and give it to me wisdom and knowledge. Only let me speak only the truth, Almighty Heavenly Father, especially your chosen one, your uh, elected one, your true bride of Yeshua, their name in the book of life in heaven, whosoever watching this video in this moment, Father, bless them and the poured out the Holy Spirit as well, and their eyes and ears and covered with the precious blood of Yeshua, especially let them understand what Holy Spirit speak to them right now. Father Almighty, please be with me in the name of Yeshua, I do pray, Amen. Truly thank you. Glorify your name alone. In this moment, I proclaim your word, and especially talking about the spiritual word, all kinds of the spiritual warfare is existence. Holy angels, evil spirit, real existence in this world. Spiritual warfare is really intense every single moment. Especially your word is hovering all over the world. And the all kinds of the skin spiritual word. What is going on? From the beginnings to the end. I try to the explain to your children, your sons and daughters all over the world precious children their name in the book of life in heaven whatever you're looking for bless them pour out the Holy Spirit holy fire come down right now ask them to baptize them let them understand what Holy Spirit speak to them cover Father you should I rebuke in the name of Yeshua evil spirit whosoever in this moment, in this moment, interrupting whosoever, evil spirit, I rebuke them. In the name of Yeshua, ye kala baba shendra ba in the Bible says, "Sorry, ya papa kaster ba whosoever sit there baba shendra baba, ye baba interrupting Holy Spirit, ye mama never forgiven." In the Bible says, "Sorry, ni askere ya baba shendra baba le ite baba." Father Almighty, tira stre baba shendra ba in this moment, tira kara baba shendra ya baba shendra baba, ye kara baba shendra ya baba shendra baba. Still dream of shendra your children, your sons and daughters all over the world. Ye kara baba shendra ba in this moment, tira baba shendra ba. Truly, I wanna ye tira baba shendra ba stike baba talking about spiritual world. What is going on. Father Almighty, please be with me. From the beginning to the end, Holy Spirit, only Holy Spirit speak to them. Father, in the name of Yeshua, I do pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, Shalom. This is actually second time of the talking about it is a spiritual word. So first video, I already explained to you book of the Enoch and as well as book of the Holy Bible as well. I already mentioned to you, first of all, Holy Bible from Genesis to the Revelation. If you are truly from the uh, Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to the uh, towards to uh, book of Revelation, at the end of the page of the book of the Revelation, you will notice about if you're truly, truly a uh, true bride of Yeshua, you are spiritualist. If you are awakened Christian, you will notice about something missing there. So, yeah, it is something missing because it is from Adam's to the Abraham era. That time period is missing, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. So, if you are truly read about the book of Enoch, and I already mentioned to you, book book of the Enoch, if you read about it, all kinds of the dirty secret about the dark um, the fallen angels, came down in Gerard time, 200 fallen angels, and then they are ruled over in this earth, and then they corrupted all kinds of the evil way, all kinds of the different evil way are corrupted in this earth. So it is Noah's time, Almighty Heavenly Father, judgment was happened, so that is why the entire earth with judged with water. So previously, entire our earth is outside of the earth, it is covered with a um, a lot of water, but Almighty Heavenly Father is pouring down all the waters 
and that is why the entire earth was flooded, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, and especially in Adam and Eve, it's old ancient time, which is um, in that time, people can live about a thousand years, but nowadays, after Noah, before Noah, people can live a thousand years, but after Noah, after judgment with the water, and people can live a maximum of 120 years. So it is a book of the uh, Revelation, chapter 6, verse 1 to 3, it was a support. So already last video, I already mentioned to you, it is a book of the Enoch, as well as from... Um, book of the holy bible i already support you so as a true christian you must read yourself a book of enoch enoch is the seventh generation from the adam because i already mentioned to you almighty heavenly father gave it to adam and eve it's cain and abel for from the beginning cain killed his brother so righteous one righteous a bloodline which is abel it is killed by cain so almighty heavenly father gave it to them third son which he is his name is a set so enoch is a came from set line so Enoch is the seventh generation and especially chosen one. Why Enoch is chosen one? Because um, above the, his um, father and grandfathers, grandfathers and whatever, including Adam, they all rejected, deny God Almighty. So disobedience in a generation. So it is Enoch was one of the righteous men and holy men. He was a chosen one and he is obedient obeying god almighty his obedience child so he was he was very special a prophet and child and he never died and god almighty took him a first ever example of the rapture rapture event was happened which is enoch as well as only eliza so entire in this earth only two person which is enoch as well as eliza without death they were raptured so it is caught up without any death so that is what it is so i already explained to you last video it is a support the book of the enoch as well as um holy bible so uh, in this video i try to explain to you a sp spiritual word so according almighty heavenly father spoke to me 2004 세상 문을 닫을 시간이 다 되었는데 내 아들 딸들이 아직 나를 모른다 너는 저리로 가야 한다. I'm I'm a Korean so Almighty Heavenly Father spoke to me with a Korean language because I can recognize two different languages Korean as well as English. So in that time Almighty Heavenly Father spoke to me in Korean language and if I translate it the time is closed all of the earth my son and daughters do not know me yet you must go 2004. So 15 years later, every single little thing is make sense. But my in in between my life, I wasn't really makes. It wasn't sure what is exactly mean to me. So. 15 years later, Heavenly Father showed me so many vision and dreams. So every single little things, uh, as a, like a puzzle, Almighty Heavenly Father's gave it to me here and there. Sometimes, one puzzle. One vision is given to me once and then six months later or five months later, another puzzle of the vision is came to me. So in that point of times, it doesn't really make sense. So what happened is uh, all my uh, prophetic dream was a it was happening. So I was shocked. So people doesn't know what happened, but I know uh, inside and what has happened. So I just kept myself, but, but at some point of time, about 2009, Almighty Heavenly Father supported me so many vision and dreams. So since then, oh, I better write it down. The I better write it down. All kinds of the whatever Heavenly Father showed me the vision. So it was sometimes it was a snapshot vision. Sometimes it is such a such a drama, or sometimes it is double dream. So dream dream. In the dream, still there is another dream. Is I still did not wake up, so it is double dream. Double dream is a very prophetic dream. It was a visionary dream. So I, as much as I can, I just distinguish as much as I can, and I write it down all my uh, uh, diary. But um, 
I just tried to do my best for that. But later on, 15 years later, every single little thing, whatever Heavenly Father show me and then train me spiritually, it is everything that makes sense. So I, and, and during the four times, so for 15 years, as well as I had a lot of um, demonic attacking experience as well. So from the beginning, uh, evil spirit that they sent it to me, uh, goes the level, so it is very um, bottom line of the level of the evil spirit they send it to me. So I was even thinking about only Yeshua, Yesu, and they were running away in that time. But now, because I was like uh, trained so long time, and they are uh, more stronger and stronger, evil spirit send it to me. Sometimes they are over 200. That, that's what I feel. They send it to me and then they are uh, give it to me so much trouble. Like I, I, I feel always, always tired because evil spirit always, always attacking me. And then most of the time I cannot sleep because evil spirit attacking me. Or sometimes the Holy Spirit doesn't want me to sleep. So I all night I have to awake. So it is like it is life is very difficult for me. So today's um, I was very looking forward to describe about the all kinds of the all kinds of the spiritual world, but it is not that easy. And then if I explain to you from the beginning and at the end, I have to explain to you, let you see the big picture, not a small piece of the picture. So that is why I already mentioned to you from the book of Enoch as well as the book of the Bible. So Almighty Heavenly Father is yesterday and today and tomorrow is the same brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. So it is nothing changed. So that is why especially even a thousand years or two thousand years to Almighty Heavenly Father because none of the peoples will die. So it doesn't really matter a thousand years ago, a thousand years later, a hundred years later, a hundred years ago, it doesn't really matter to Him because Almighty Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua is eternal God, eternal life. So nobody will die. So just only after our life and then whosoever um, deserve to receive the award they will receive the award whosoever they deserve to uh, receive the punishment and they will receive the punishment that is why i already uh, read a book of you know chapter 45 and then elected one a chosen one and then the other thing is a sinner that's what heavenly father distinguish which one is going up to the heaven which one is going down to the hell so basically i already mentioned to you where is the hell location where is a heaven location so according to my vision and dream and my experience of the spiritual experiences for 15 years i am not talking about other people's experience because none of the none of the other people's experience is not my personal experiences i'm not gonna touching at all because that is their own their own their their experience so i just only what heavenly father show me what heavenly father let me experience whatever i see i hear with the spirit's ears and eyes and then i will explain to you brothers and sisters in yeshua christ so i had an experience to going down to the hell it is really really scary but the hell is located under our feet brothers and sisters in yeshua christ the time is come your time or my time is come our soul and body will isolate it and then which is uh, if you deserve to going up you will go to the heaven if you deserve to going down you will go to the hell so hell is located yours under under your feet and then where is the heaven heaven located further of the further away of the universe so my goodness heaven is so far 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 away is distance wise but grace of god power of almighty yahweh creator of the universe just the blink of eyes you can going up to the heaven no problem brothers and sisters in yeshua christ sometimes you can uh, escorting by angels or as you can escorting by Yeshua Christ but according to my experience spiritual experience just almighty heavenly father just let me just like he just like suck me 
to the heaven, just blink of eyes. I see the uh, blue marvel of the hour. First of all, I was isolated with my body, and then I was going through the ceiling, and it was night time, and I see and the blue marvel uh, of the earth, which is like I see the sky, and then I see the stars, and then going up, 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 up. Very, it is a, it is a blink of eyes. It is short. Very short moment, but I see and then I know and I, I feel every single little thing. So the heaven is a location is further more of the universe. So first of all, nobody can go to the heaven without Yeshua Christ, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. God Almighty spoke to me one day, and the Almighty Heavenly Father spoke to me. The salvation is belong to only Yeshua. I already made a video of this one oh, years ago, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. As a small little puzzle here and there, Almighty Heavenly Father gave it to me for 15 years. So I already uh, mentioned to you, Rosh Hashanah, Archangel, one of the Archangels was shouted out to me, Rosh Hashanah, Heaven Gate will be shut down. Rosh Hashanah, Heaven Gate will be shut down. And then the other thing is Satan. I was going up with the Lord, which is Yeshua Christ, and then under my feet, the Satan spoke to me, Yahweh, we he was speaking Korean language and his voice was so dirty and filthy and I cannot explain very easily but Satan voice is like Satan or demon their voice is so not so pretty I'm telling you so he said Yahweh, whosoever we wanted to have, they all left behind here. Ha 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 ha. So brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, we're living 2020, May 18 right now. Look around, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. Your spiritual eyes need to be wide open. Your spiritual ears need to be wide open. So all, all of the world deceived by evil spirit and all of the world they are they love about their money and they love about their hobby. They love about they love about whatever they are idle to. They it could be money, it could be hobby, it could be animal, it could be pet, it could be their children, whatever, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. So people doesn't know who is Yeshua Christ. People doesn't know who is God Almighty. What is the qualification requires to go back to the enter the kingdom of God, brothers and sisters? So in the Bible explained to you already, spiritual person and then earthly person. So it is completely different and you must completely isolate it from the world. That's what Heavenly Fathers um, ask to you through the Bible. So you must completely distinguish it from isolated from the world so come out from the world so if you're a truly spiritual person you must be understand what i'm talking about in the bible says the brothers and sisters in yeshua christ so i tried to do my best about to explain about the spiritual world so i had a lot of a spiritual um experience so I do not know, uh, first of all, where should I start? So, um, according to my vision and dream, according to my vision and dreams, I will not explain every single little detail, but whatever, uh, pointing out what Heavenly Fathers want you to know, whatever Heavenly Fathers want you to understand, pointing out, I will give you uh, here and there's an uh, idea about the, what is the spiritual world about brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ through my vision and dream, brothers and sisters. Two thousand seventeen. It was Tuesday, September twenty six, two thousand seventeen. So this is given to me. All of a sudden, the sky was open. Like the sky, the sky was open. It was it was um, tremendous light was come out, and then from the sky, and the people was coming down from the from the sky, and then people was their left hand or their right hand. They have dish, and the top of the dish, what's in it? 
Uh, in Korean, we are with whatever it is celebrations going on. It is traditionally so we are uh, eating rice cake. It is we call a rainbow cake. So rainbow cake. So people's like it is left hands and right hand on the dish. They are coming down from the heaven, and then. They were speaking, everybody was rejoicing, and everybody speaking in tongue. So nobody understand what is this tongue, you know, like, a, but Holy Spirit speaks. So one of the reasons Almighty Heavenly Father wants to know uh, about, want me to know about heaven people in heaven, citizen of heaven, people are speaking tongue. So it is like everybody was so rejoicing. All of a sudden, this vision was came to me 2017. It is September 26th, Tuesday. And all of a sudden, the sky was, it was open. Like it is a, it is, a, it is tremendous light. And the people was came down and the people was their left hand and right hand. They are uh, having a, a celebration cake. You know, we, in Korean, we call mujigetok. It is, um, it is a, a rice cake, but when you do something, a celebration, and then you are uh, serving uh, that the mujigeta, which is like a rainbow rice cake. So everybody's like talking and talking, like, everybody's so rejoicing, and everybody's speaking tongue, and then nobody, so I was writing down, they were speaking in tongue, it is uh, no one else can understand. Uh, 아, 나도 방언으로 꿈에서 말하고 I do speak in tongue in, in, in that dream. So it is like uh, this is what I saw. So it is a spiritual word, brothers and sisters. I try to explain to you in that dream what is that exactly mean is it is a, which is like Rosh Hashanah. Messiah's wedding is coming very soon. So in that dream the point is like even heaven Citizen of the heaven, which is a people's can speaking tongue. So everybody speaking tongue. Everybody speaking tongue. Seems like English, but it is no unknown lang language people are speaking. I'll try to summarize this dream as well. So all about the spiritual experience. So already this one is came out if you find out. So this is given to me 2017, November 29. It is Wednesday. And then especially I received the a white to, notebook memo and then i was opened the memo that was all kinds of the secret of the creation of the almighty heavenly father and then i was holding that memo uh, and then um it was rainy outside and the train was waiting for me so i was surprised because um in the spiritual world the brothers and sisters in yeshua christ a lot of holy angels they look like us you know, they do not have any wing. Some formation of the holy angels, so they have a wing. They are for a uh, position in heaven. So sometimes come down or sometimes going up. And then, you know, they have uh, some uh, wings. But uh, they, whosoever uh, working in this world, they look like a human. So they don't have any wings. So in that dream, this is actually second time I was uh, went to the angels, holy angels meeting. So in in the in the if I explain to you in in this word uh, a spiritual word, I do believe spiritual word. There are holy angels like um, some angels. So they're working in the North America, South America, or the Middle East, or Asia, or uh, Australia, or Africa, or you know, all kinds of the languages, basically, because I'm Korean, so I can recognize the Korean language as well as English. So, um, 
my whosoever's contact with me, angels or demons, they speak in sometimes Korean language or sometimes they can speak in English as well. So whatever, I can recognize that the language. But think about it. Some people are living in Japan or they're China or so they are uh, South America. They supposed to be speaking Spanish, you know. Uh, evil spirit or even angel they're speaking their own languages so i would like to speak to you in spiritual world there is a, a holy angel so i already last times i already mentioned to you uh, through the matthew 18 8 matthew 18 8 Yeshua Christ mentioned to you, you have your own guardians, holy angels from when you are coming down from the heaven as a baby, as a child, before you born, or my heavenly father already placed two guardians angel for you. Could it be two men or could it be two women or could it be men or woman? I don't know, but uh, according to my experience, you know, like I um, saw that um, small little boy, it is... Um, 2018, it was March, a uh, little boy, his guardian's angel was uh, two woman angels, uh, two uh, female angels uh, have a, a wing and then uh, wear the white robes and then two female angels. And for example, my, my uh, friend, Mr. Kim, when he going up to the heaven, what I saw the vision and his guardian's angel was uh, two male Two male, man angels, male angels. So that's what I know. But I'm not sure about whatever. Every single people is different. So anyways, we have a guardian's angel. But uh, in this earth, uh, in the other dimension of the world, a lot of holy angels, they're working so hard and busy. And then they're regularly, they're having meeting. That's what I understand. So this is actually second times I was attended the um, holy angels meeting, actually. First time ever, Almighty Heavenly Fathers, let me experience about the holy angels meeting. That was the restaurant, actually, in the spiritual world. And then behind of me, I had to go into that the restaurant. There was a door. So there was a demons outside was tried to not to let me go in that um a restaurant and then they tried to the a lot of interrupting me whatever and then i was like a rebuke in the name of yeshua in the name of yeshua go away i was like a fight back to them and then rebuke to them and i was go through that doors and i was went to the first ever meeting of the angels meeting but in that time almighty heavenly father doesn't want me to listen what is the on the uh, what's the discussion on the, their table? So I couldn't understand. So I couldn't heard about anything. So in that dream, I was attended, uh, attended, uh, um, attended the meeting of the holy angels. And then, hmm, they're regularly, they're doing that. So this time, uh, when I received the memo, uh, from the uh, from the, I was like open up the white drawers, and then I find out, and I was open uh, this uh, memo. Uh, which is like a small little uh, memo book, which is notebook, and then there are so many secrets of the creation, and none of things I can I cannot understand. That looks like uh, pictures and word. I have no no idea. But anyhow, try to understand. And then that is the secret of the heavenly fathers, Almighty heavenly fathers, like creation, whatever he uh, write it down, small little book. And then I was uh, holding that book, and then I was uh, go out. It was raining in the dream, and then angels and then um and the uh, train was waiting for me so and then one of the female angels and the small little boy was waited for me but but um actually if i explain to you a uh, small little boy last times whenever i explained to you this uh, dream i wasn't really ready for but what happened is 2016 i was i was experienced about um in I was experienced about the loss of my baby. On I have a unborn a baby boy. So Almighty Heavenly Fathers gave it to me twice of time. Let me uh, see my unborn baby boys twice of time. So in this time, a uh, grace of Almighty Heavenly Father, and then He explained to me my unborn baby boys with a, a holy guardian's angel, uh, which is a holy 
nursery, nursery angels. He's uh, he's uh, doing okay, and then he's uh, looked after us in heaven. So that is what it is. I didn't really read it to go last times. So whenever I explained to you, a little boy, I knew that who he is, and then he explained to me, warara, warara is kimchi. You know, in the he is um. He is my boy, so he was uh, explained to me what is the tongue in heaven. Warara, warara is kimchi. He was explained to me. So, in this uh, vision, and then uh, angels, which is a uh, nursery guardians, angels, and little boy, which is my uh, my uh, unborn my son, was waited for me, and then I was uh, guided by uh, guardians angels, and then I was going into the into the train so i went to the into the train and then there was a lot of people was sitting in the train and the train was started when i get in and then the door was closed and the, the train was started to go so train was moving but um i was thinking about it they don't have any holy uh, angels in it. Uh, they didn't have any wings, but I recognize that they are not normal human. They are all holy angels working in this earth. So they, I just write it down. 나에게 없는 사람들의 모습을 한 천사들. So they do not have any wing, but they are holy angels. So 천사들의 미팅에 갔다. I went to uh, attended meeting of the angels. So, in this point of time, I was writing down, 여기서는 중요한 내용들이 의견으로 오고 갔다. And I was writing down, in this point of time, there are so many important uh, discussion on the table, but only in that point of time, what Heavenly Fathers want me to understand about. So, I was uh, writing down, there is a, there is a window, window, seat area i was uh this is me and the little boy which is my unborn uh, baby boys and then his guardians nursery angels as well so i was sitting down i was i was try to checking things out because this is a spiritual world this is very intense spiritual world i try to understand and then one of the one of the angels he was all of a sudden he was a stand up so he was speaking japanese language so that holy angels belong to uh, japan so i can tell so he seems like a very powerful angels he looks like just a normal he doesn't have any wing he doesn't he, do, he just look like a normal people but he's a holy angels working in the spiritual world and then he was all of a sudden stand up and then he said shab, 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 mash da. And then he's speaking a Japanese language, and they're they discuss discuss about wars gonna be going on. So it takes about two to three years to destroy. Um, so if if uh, the third world of the world it is started, so it is that kind of the holy angel discussion was two to three years it's gonna be destroyed. So something like that. So and then I was write it down right here, and um, my little boy I know that. And he was teach me heaven language, warara. Warara is kimchi. Kimchi is Korean number one side dish made with napa cabbage. So it is very spicy. And every um, nationwide, this is enjoying, which is kimchi. Kimchi is in heaven language. He showed me about the warara. And then I tried to the, pay attention to what is like a... Um, what is a uh, holy angels discussion about it in that point of time heavenly fathers give it to me a little bit tiny teeny just like a, let me listen about the, what is going on almighty uh, holy angels are talking about the war so it is like a um final war actually third world of the world is going to be talking about it so in the in the spiritual world it is like even holy angels they are so they are working so hard all over the world. So basically, I try to the, I try to explain to you, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, spiritual world. Um, there is a holy angels. They are belong to heaven. So in front of you, there is Yeshua Christ is coming with the thousands and millions of the holy angels. They have a wing. They belong to heaven. There is a job to do in heaven, and but the holy angels they're belong to heaven but their formation they do not have any wing they are working in this uh earth so they look like a human so it is very difficult to distinguish but um in the spiritual world this is what it is going on brothers and sisters in yeshua christ
This time, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, the hell life, I would like to explain to you hell life. So one day, it was given to me, the vision was given to me, 2016, April 29. So, if you're going up, it is great for, but sometimes under Heavenly Father's grace and His training purposes, I'm going down to the hell as well. So I do not know all kinds of the hell look like because Almighty Heavenly Father has only given to me a little bit idea, not a lot. So in that day, 2016, April 29th, it was a Friday, I was going down to the hell. So first of all, there was a demons was everywhere try to get me because I know that I'm not belong to there yet, but they know who I am. And then they tried to rape me like they were following me. I was so scared. And then demon was everywhere. And they tried to the uh, grabbing me and they tried to the rape me and the whatever. So they tried to the attacking me. And then I said, Lord, Lord, Yeshua Christ, help me. And immediately, they, nobody can touch me. Nobody can touch me, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. I truly, truly speak to you the truth. Yeshua is a real God himself. So he's be with me. And then I, I said, Yeshua Christ, please help me. Immediately, no one in the, in the, in the hell and demons can touch me at all. They cannot touch me. So I was look around a little bit. So in the, in the hell, even on uh, top of the ceiling, huge size of the snakes everywhere. So this is the hell, um, hell, like it is like a, um, lifestyle here so demons is everywhere and the snakes everywhere it is so dark and then um it was about the 2004 i went to the heaven hell, heaven and hell experience and then hell is i was with the lord i do believe i do believe only three seconds one two three i do believe i've been um in that's what I feel because only three seconds experience in the hell. First of all, hell is pitch dark. So there isn't any light. My goodness, it's so smelly. It is. You do not understand that like whatever is decays in this earth is none of the decays smell. It's like a hell, hell smell. Really, really smelly. It is awful. It is. I cannot explain what it is. It's so awful. Smell is awful. Hell is awful. And especially... No mercy, no mercy of a heavenly father. That is crazy. So no light, no mercy. You know, there isn't any limitation of the uh, evilness. And there are everywhere creepy blood everywhere. And then especially I heard the sound of the hell sound. Million people is groaning because they are screaming. Some people, some people is like uh, whatever it is groaning sound. A million people is groaning same timing. It was really, really scary. So almost, I do believe, only three seconds. One, two, three. But I, I um, experienced, taste about, I tasted about the hell. I didn't see so many things about the hell because only Almighty Heavenly Father's under His grace only whosoever can put up with, whosoever had a purpose to experience about the hell, maybe Almighty Heavenly Father should show to them more, um, more, you know, detail. But in my case is Almighty Heavenly Father doesn't really show me very detail. So let me experience about the hell taste. That's about it. And then one day I wasn't really, I wasn't really um, met God Almighty yet, and then I was going down to the hell experience. I just, I have no idea why I have to going down to the hell in that point of time. I was falling into the dark and dark and dark and dark. If there isn't any endless darkness is going down. It was so scary, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. My whole heart, my whole spirit shouted out, repent immediately. I do not know who's out there. I do not know who's listening. I don't know anymore. I just like, I am so sorry i was like my whole soul deepest my bottom was shouted out to whosoever listened to me i just like just like i'm so sorry i don't know whatever i've done for my life i was i said i 
so sorry immediately my soul was going down to the hell it was stop and then going up and up and up and up and going going back to the my life but it is not going back to the my body immediately brothers and sisters my soul was going up almost ceiling and then i saw my sleeping body from the ceiling i saw my uh, position is i am very um i my two arms is you know wide you know uh raise up and then whatever i was like a sleeping my body was sleeping but my soul was from the ceiling i was isolated with my soul because right before i had an experience to falling down to the hell my soul and then i couldn't go back to my body myself because none of the that is not my choice brothers and sisters that is not my choice so almighty heavenly fathers the time even if nobody knows nobody wants to nobody knows about the when is your time so only almighty heavenly fathers without heavenly fathers permission nobody can die brothers and sisters nobody can die so without almighty god yahweh creator of the universe um Abare's father without his permission nobody can die brothers and sisters in yeshua christ before i just explained to you even yeshua christ even holy angels even demons even satan every single little thing is ready to be raptured right now brothers and sisters in yeshua christ but only yahweh creator of the universe yahweh almighty heavenly fathers not give it to him sign yes to go to get your bride that is the only the leftover right now so far i understand almighty heavenly father spoke to me time is up or i already mentioned to you brothers and sisters in yeshua christ so almighty heavenly father spoke to that but even yeshua christ is ready every single thing is ready it is wedding so for rosh hashanah uh, messiah's wedding is in heaven every single even angels ready even demons ready even satan is ready every single little things is ready even very soon tribulations it is get started is ready but almighty heavenly father abaret fathers creator of the universe yahweh his decision it is not give it to not uh, give it to not sign yet go go get your bride it is heavenly father is saying go get your bride this is end of the story brothers and sisters we have no time to repent we have no we have nothing left to be repent we do not have any time to be read the bible or pray and then repent at all so this is last final uh, before midnight final calling brothers and sisters final callings brothers and sisters so yeshua christ is ready angel holy angels is ready it is a satan is ready it is demon is ready every single is ready only yeshua christ is waiting for almighty god yahweh creator of the universe is sign go get your bride that's it brothers and sisters this is what we left over right now so it is a tribulation is going to be started and then all kinds of the catastrophic event is line up and then asteroid is coming down and all kinds of things is ready to go so it is a bride of yeshua it's still here and then you have a chance to receive the yeshua christ you have a chance to repent right now so this is our great great grace of the yet yeah, grace of the god almighty time brothers and sisters in yeshua christ that's why i am working so hard in front of the uh, front line and i speak the truth believe it or not you are listening or not i just like a send out the message all over the world especially chosen one elected one uh true bride of yeshua because they have to be get ready book of the revelation chapter 19 7 uh, bride need to be get ready herself otherwise you will be left behind you must be holy mature uh, pure and clean with your righteous act wash away yours all iniquity and then your all sins wash away with the precious blood of yeshua that is wise a precious blood of yeshua on the cross a prayer is very very important after if you pray with that and then praise the lord yeshua name and then praise the his precious blood of yeshua you will 
you will have very peaceful, and then you will be very feel lighter, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. So, I just mentioned to you a little bit, and everything is ready, but only God Almighty sign is left over. So, so this is a 2018 about uh, about March. 2018 about March, one of the, my co-worker, um, her baby boy, uh, gifts. You know, he's coming down to the um, earth from the heaven with which is uh, his guardians, uh, nursery guardians angels. It was a two um, female angels, and then he was born because I saw the vision. Uh, about 2018 March, but he was born in that year's um, October 9th. So, in the spiritual world, as I show you, because there is not the real uh, physical formation, so it is a spiritual uh, world. So you can see uh, like uh, angels, uh, like a uh, neon white color, like this. Okay, brothers and sisters, I try to explain to you. So in that day, it was a pretty intense dream as well. So this dream is given to me 2018, December 26. And then I just try to explain to you because angels, they are... Uh, serving the people so it is a wedding dress try to the um, put on the wedding dress each individual so uh, this group of peoples they wear like a little bit bluish wedding dress and the other side that they have a little bit uh, pinkish red wedding dress so like um angel was helping uh grooming you know like it is a uh, holy holy uh children of god so i just like um uh, so this vision because angels they are helping people dressed up you know like a wedding dress which is like Rosh Hashanah Messiah's wedding it is so everything is ready so and then the screen was changed brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ I was explained to you one point of times I went to the ICU department intense care unit so brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ in this mo in this point of times I will tell you especially spiritual word so especially ICU department uh, there isn't a lot of holy angel stairs. I'm just telling you the truth because so many people in the ICU department after because so many people they are they cannot make it heaven. So basically, I went I went to the um, ICU department under Heavenly Father Grace three times. Experienced about it. This is one of the ICU department experience in the spiritual world. I see department, you know, demon is everywhere. I'm telling you. So there are darker forces, like it is incredibly powerful. So dark, evil uh, spirit there. Our frequency is a super evil. I had a so much headache. So I was a so much headache. But I will not explain to you this vision. This visions I will explain to you. Because I again, I went to the ICU department three times in the vision. So one of the uh, vision about I went to the ICU department. So... I was watching over the window because I was in the hall, you know, and then I was watching over the over the uh, inside of the uh, IC department. There was about 80 years old, about 80 years old grandmother was passing in that time, but she wasn't die yet. So because um, like uh, way in front of the wall, one of the top to bottom, I'm telling you the truth, brothers and sisters, whatever I saw and whatever I hear, I witness in the name of Yeshua. I just explained to you in the ICU department, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of holy angels everywhere. It is uh, uh, all over, you know, basically evil spirit waiting for, um, waiting for the a time is a come. So whatever I saw, I just witnessed because of the, in the name of Yeshua, I have to. So as a messenger, 
so in front of uh, in, in front of the wall top to bottom from the from the uh, top to bottom all black so which is like a demon but he was uh, crushing his arm and he was crushing his leg and he was uh, lean on the back and then uh, lean on the wall so he was waiting he was waiting so I just like watching and then hmm what is going on here is it is ICU department intense care unit department and then there is um I was I was a uh, hole I was in the hole and then I was a uh, look inside of the ICU department and then there is equipment or whatever and then uh about eight years old grandmother it is uh, uh passing right now but uh angels like holy angels in the icu department she was uh, have a small little um note notepad notebook and she was so busy but let me see the what is the spiritual world is going on even demon is uh waiting because even demons to they do not know uh what wherever so the grandmother 80 years old the grandmothers to go so going up to the heaven or going down to the hell none of the decision is uh, they can making it even evil spirit even demon spirit they cannot make that decision because only almighty god yahweh almighty god creator of universe creator of universe yahweh elohim almighty jehovah he can decide it wherever she is a uh, um, uh, belong to the heaven or she is belo belong to the hell only he knows and then her soul is still in the body and then it is not come out yet so even demon is like a very very patiently he was waiting waiting for the sign of the almighty heavenly father so it is his uh crossing his arm and crossing his leg and he was a lean on the wall and then he was waiting and waiting and waiting so he doesn't know he doesn't know uh, where the she's going brothers and sisters in yeshua christ i try to awaken you this is a spiritual world experience brothers my personal spiritual experience uh, um experience what heavenly father almighty heavenly father yahweh uh, holy spirit yeshua show me about that and that i truly witness and the for uh, for the purposes of the uh, spiritual training purposes and then you must be know what is the spiritual world is going on so and then i just like a notice about it and then hmm oh my goodness even evil spirit they are uh patiently there was uh, waiting for that and then all of a sudden next to me uh, right side of the holy angels a woman angel so she was like uh she said follow me and she said follow me and then i just uh, follow her and then there is um another meeting even if i see department holy angels there is a meetings going on so i was i in that times i didn't have any um permissions to listen whatever is discussion on their table so i couldn't listen anything about anything whatever is their discussion on the table holy angels so they are having a lot of a meeting and then they're talking about it and then i was lean onto the you know door side and the door was locked and then behind of me evil spirit was tried to open the door you know like try to open the doors like <laughs> I was like my body was my spiritual body was a shake you know like it was a little bit shake because I tried to the lean on that door evil spirit tried to the interrupting interrupting holy angels meeting even that moment brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ and then I just like a see right about it so and the holy angel she said follow me and then because in the spiritual world the brothers and sisters in Yeshua whosoever spiritual existence angels or demon they are not allowed to having a conversation with you unless the almighty heavenly fathers want them to speak something they cannot talk to you that is against the rule of the almighty heavenly father righteous universal his law brothers and sisters in yeshua Christ. so like this holy angels woman angels you know like it is give it to me the sign follow me and then i said i tried to follow her but she was already jumping out of the window so i tried to jumping out of the window with her i tried to the jumping out of the window oh uh, that was me and they but oh wait a minute this is second floor it is not a first floor and then hmm and then i was uh, thinking about it mm, yeah this is a spiritual world i can jumping out and then i was jumping out i was uh, right away so with the holy angel and then she said it takes about three days 
So it takes about three days. She said, going up to the heaven, it takes about spiritual world. She said three days. I don't know how how long. You know, it it doesn't really matter. Count counting spiritual world and counting this world is totally different world, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. So, and the holy angels mentioned about it takes about three days to get to the um heaven that's what she said and then my soul was a start to flying with her and then i was wake up so this is my another spiritual experience brothers and sisters in yeshua christ and i tried to explain to you so this is earth and the location of a heaven outside of the universe so um i already explained to you hell location is under your feet so when you are isolated with your body and soul, if, if you deserve to going down, it's going down immediately. If you deserve to going up, the heaven location is further. This is universe, for example. This is Earth, you know, star in between whatever is the planet, you know. And then uh, heaven location is further more of the universe. That's what I try to do, explain to you, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. I try to summarize as much as I can. I can share entire overnight. So this is division is given to me November 7, 2019. Uh, November 7, 2019. God Almighty showed me about the, my uh, best friend, Mr. Kim, going up to the heaven. So in that day, November 7, 2019, my uh, best friend, Mr. Kim, was in the nursery uh, nursery home in the South Korea. So I last year, 2019, about the September, I went to the South Korea to say hello to my family as well as to say hello to my friends as well. And unfortunately, uh, my uh, friend, he was uh, find out that he had um, brain tumors at the end of the August. And then he was... Um, he need to have uh, intense care so it is very quickly it was happened and this is such a long story but I might have if to show me about his uh, his going up to the heaven so um, my friend Mr. Kim I was uh, sending out the message for, to him for almost 10 years since 2009 and then he doesn't really believe you know whatever I say but he was uh, he believed everything he was believe all spirit whatever whatever but about about a year ago, Mr. Kim truly he received Yeshua Christ uh, in his heart as uh, his true savior, and he repent. He wanted to uh, baptize with the mobile way, and he was baptized, and then he was like a fire, like so fast. He was like a, his a spirit was he, his soul was growing like a crazy, and he was so hungry to learn about the spiritual world. He wanted to, you know, he was truly truly repent every day and night he was a repent it was like i had a so much conversation almost like a every daily basis sometime some point of times because you know i think uh his time is very very near so almighty heavenly by the grace of god uh poured out to him about all the knowledge about the spiritual world so he loved yeshua christ about a year's and then he was going up to the sky. So I saw this vision, November 7, 2019. And then uh, what happened is, it, this is me. I was watching. So uh, his guardian's angel was actually two male angels. They have a wing. And then one of the guardian's angel was a carry-on, Mr. Kim. And then what I saw, he's a... Uh, um, because even if Mr. Kim repent a lot, because there is a sin and iniquity, is there is a weight in it, spiritually weight in it. So it is pretty heavy, still so heavy. Even if he had a lot of repentance though, but in that time his guardian's angel, his wing was like a struggle. His uh, his wing was trying to open. You know when you um uh when you are uh, like it is a lift up, so something heavy stuff like. It's, it's like it is like a little bit hard you know like so especially i saw the vision about his guardian's angels was open up his uh, beautiful wing was a struggle like it's like it's open but it's a little bit heavy still very heavy but he was his uh, the other's guardian's angel which is like a male another angels his guardian's angel and he was just watching like just supervising and then this angel's going up helping him to going up and then he just saw my my 
friend, Mr. Kim's hijo soars almost going up to the heaven from the heaven citizen of the heaven people was you know waited for him i don't know how many people so three four five who knows and then he was waiting for me almost like his soul was going to the almost close to heaven like a vacuum like a sucking um it is a uh, dirt like his soul was is going going towards to the suck into the heaven and the heaven gate was shut down i wanted to see one more time but already that scene is all gone it's gone and then i was going back to the my my um personal life again this is what i saw and then i saw this vision and then i uh had a conversation with mr kim last conversation uh 2019 december 10 and then until his last moment i had a conversation with him so through the uh, nurse cell phone nurse uh, cell phone and then i said your uh, two guardians and you will be come to get you very soon and then and then he said amen last word was amen and then 17 days later 2019 december 27 he passed away brothers and sisters in yeshua christ so he wanted me to speak about his uh, story because he wanted to he wants he wants to even that moment he wants to glorify almighty heavenly father yahweh holy spirit, holy spirit yeshua's name even that way he want me to talk about the, his story towards to the world through the yeshua coming channel brothers and sisters in yeshua christ so brothers and sisters in yeshua christ so many things i would like to share with you so um angels and demon is real so Almighty Heaven Father can yes kiri Ababa in this moment please help me share the Rebbe Ababa and the Rebbe Ababa continue about your uh, uh, speaking kiri Ababa kiri Ababa kiri Ababa shandar Ababa so brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ uh, truly truly you have your own guardians angels but uh, remember that because when you coming down from the heaven when your baby you do not remember but when your baby you have uh, your personal guardians angels I already mentioned to you book of the Matthew 18 8 so yeshua Christ has already mentioned to you your own guardians angels are facing almighty heavenly father every single day you're good or bad write it down all the story about your life inside and outside of the who you are and then whatever you've done good or bad uh, every single little things is a recording in the book of life in heaven whatever is under your uh, bible uh, under your uh, book of life in heaven so it is uh this is what it is and then and a lot of people's like uh having so much trouble so many uh, pa uh pain or disease or all kinds of the trouble or i do not want to explain to you all kinds of the trouble because what happened is guardians and angels is always always next to you and they help you out but what happened is you are committed a sin you whatever heavenly fathers it is uh it is a sin whatever you are committed a sin uh, immediately um demon has a uh power over to you they have a uh right to attack you because because if you are not because you're holy holy person protected by uh, god almighty yeshua christ but what happened is if you do uh committed a sin even your guardians angels cannot help you because evil spirit uh, they have a, a right to attack you so all kinds of the things is happen so first of all uh, you have to you must repent in front of heavenly father so i already mentioned to you what is a true repentance about it true repentance if you start to repent truly with the yeshua's name um the evidence is that you will start to cry you will start to cry but um yours all true repentance is your cry is completely dry out from your body nothing come out anymore you know nothing come out that much you have to be cry and cry and repent and repent and repent and repent so it is what happened is if you truly truly repent start with a cry and then until yours a uh, tear is all dry out from your body you must repent in the name of yeshua truly truly feel sorry if you but i'm telling you because there is a um in the book of loma alone and the heavenly father mentioned about it uh there is a price of the sin is the death so 
I already uh, go through it every single thing because iniquity, all, all kinds of sin and iniquity, there is a spiritual weight in it. That is why you cannot go up. When you, if you want to go up, because first of all, you supposed to be um, remove it. You know, remove it. Your sin. Only Yeshua Christ, God Almighty Himself, can do so with the precious blood of Yeshua, with the true your depend with your so true repentance as well as your true um, faith in Yeshua Christ. Without that, you cannot pleasing Almighty Heavenly Father. Yeshua Christ is showed to me 2015 November. Uh, November 20, I do believe, Yeshua Christ is a personally came to me and then he showed me he was anointed. He was given to me the holy kiss in front of my head. And then he was show me uh, about himself and then whosoever pleasing God, even if they're sick, bad in the hospital, Yeshua Christ is a go. And then uh, personally, it is a, he was a hand uh, touching his hand towards to the sick people. And then immediately, people was okay. And Yeshua Christ is like it is personally visiting you. So whosoever, they have no idea where do they have to start. So where is the Heavenly Father? Heavenly Father is not in just like a heaven. And then he is not. He is everywhere, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. I saw the vision of... Almighty Heavenly Father's word is hovering all over the world. One day, my soul was, it was a flying in the air. And then I was heard about the voice of God Almighty. His word was hovering all over the world. His word is hovering all over the world. Even now, uh, almost 8 billion people is living in this earth. Not just only human beings we are living. We are flowers here, bees, ants, all kinds of the insects and birds. And then even animals in the ocean, they're all alive. And then even elements there every single moment they're changing, like uh, waters to the ice, ice to the airs, and then there all the times element is changing, and the life and give and birth and death and every single little thing is changing, and the moving and alive and born and death and born and death is. Almighty Heavenly Father works so hard. He is not lock him up in heaven and they close the door and then he is just like a managing all over the world. It is not like that. Almighty Heavenly Father, Yahweh Holy Spirit, Yeshua, even Yeshua Christ, he's working so hard. Every single people, he is watching over you and then if necessary, he is personally visited you and he is working so hard and showing to them vision and dream and then personally they are visiting them and then speak to them or sometimes whisper them and then Yeshua Christ is working so hard every single moment of the moment right now. Especially, I saw the vision about Almighty Heavenly Father because I was uh, flying in the airs and I heard the voice of Almighty uh, Heavenly Father's word is all over the world like this like all over the world he is like a war it's like a, even now um Day and night, 24 hours, 7 days, or 365 days, 10 years, 10, 20 years, 100 years, 1,000 years, 2,000 years. It doesn't really matter to have any father, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. That is why 2,000 years ago, a disciple, John, which is Yeshua, so one of the brother, uh, came uh, uh, came from the Mary and Joseph. Yeshua Christ has a three brothers. It is a, um, three brothers with the... Um, they are from the Joseph and the Mary. So one of the, their three brothers all become his disciple. So entire family is like a very uh, missionary family, basically. So it is a, he's a, he's a disciple as well as his brother, John. Uh, it is the island of the Batmo. He received the message from the Yeshua Christ. And then that is what it is. And then even 2000 years ago, Yeshua Christ said, I will come quickly. I will come quickly. Coming, coming, coming. I will come quickly. So behold the name of Yeshua. I will come. And hallelujah. Amen. That is at the end of the book of the Revelations. It is a says so. But in on, for the 
for the heavenly father it is two thousand years is nothing for him it is it doesn't really bother to him two thousand years is nothing so he's a very very patient and entire generations of one uh, want to repent in front of heavenly fathers and in the name of yeshua and he almighty heavenly father give to us every single little people it doesn't matter about their ages their genders or their uh, colors it doesn't really matter almighty heavenly fathers want you to repent and then with a uh, faith and then with a true belief and then he won you to be prepared to be rapture yourself as a true bride of yeshua he wants to come back to the heaven so without true repentance without true faith and without true preparations for the rapture you cannot make it happen brothers and sisters so first of all start with you must believe yeshua christ as your savior first of all you you have to open up your heart so yeshua christ even evil spirit even angels whosoever they are spiritual uh, existence but they are they have a they have a um they they have a own decision so what happens is if you say go away i don't want you to come and then go away you know i don't want you to be your friends you know they cannot come to you so yeshua christ is even holy spirit is the same if you do not welcome yeshua christ if you do not welcome holy spirit if you do not uh welcome yeshua christ you you just lock your heart down and then if you deny yeshua christ you rejected yeshua christ yeshua christ cannot come into your heart so this is a spiritual secret brothers and sisters in yeshua christ you confess lord almighty yeshua christ i am a sinner i do believe you are lord of lord king of king uh, you are alpha and omega you are son of god you are god himself please come to my heart and then change me please be with me and then please forgive my sin if you if you repent and you open up your heart immediately yeshua christ is coming into your heart and holy spirit will coming into your heart and then it will give it to guide you and then lead you and then teach you and training you to how to go back to the heaven brothers and sisters in yeshua christ so other than then without this is a uh, uh, exception exception uh spiritual ceremony so if you are not accepting yeshua christ yeshua christ cannot come to your heart and that is end of story you will live in this earth but at the end of the, your life you are isolated with your body i already mentioned to you it is a book of uh, enoch it is chapter 45 it is denied the lord of deny the lord of the spirit which is yeshua and then you cannot make it happen you have a you 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 deserve to go to the hell brothers and sisters in yeshua Christ. so this is like a spiritual world what is going on so brothers and sisters in yeshua Christ, and not, it is not never i try to do my best for explain to you but nothing really perfect brothers and sisters as much as i can i try to open and then let you know where is the soul location i already mentioned to you soul is nearby your heart so every single people's eight almost eight billions people small good or small or big or as uh, young or old or gender doesn't matter uh, your age doesn't matter our soul location our soul weight size value is all the same equal in front of the heavenly father but what is the differences in between quality of the soul is different some quality of the soul is penny some people's some quality of the soul is like worth penny or some people's uh, their soul quality is worth a million dollars so one day i explained to you it was uh, open up the heaven again <laughs> heaven again and it seems like a newspaper every single people's they received it seems like a, a report paper so and i was uh, i was uh, received my report paper as well so there is divided left side and right side the left side almighty heavenly father's acknowledgement was there so thank you for uh, blah 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 you know something almighty heavenly father yahweh uh, yahweh acknowledgement thank you for whatever whatever right side of the paper um 
Heavenly Father's representing is a finance report. So some people, they have only penny. Some people have a million dollars. That is only uh, judged by Almighty Heavenly Father according to your soul quality, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. So all about what you can do, you must build up your relationship with Almighty Heavenly Father, which is Yahweh Holy Spirit, Yeshua, through the, our Lord, Yeshua Christ, with the true repentance and true faith, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. I try to do my best to explain to you about the spiritual world. So many things to say, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. In these times, I cannot explain to you spiritual warfare. So a couple of times, I already mentioned to you about the spiritual warfare is real existence. So you must rebuke them. And then if you are... Uh, be a friend with the evil spirit, they will come to you and then they will make your life is miserable. From the beginning, it will give it to you like it is a sweet honey, a sweet, you know, like it is a candy, but at the end, they will destroy your life. They will um, make your life miserable, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, I'm telling you. So do not, I really highly suggest you, do not be friend of the demons. You know, be a friend, best friend of the, our Lord, the God Almighty, Yahweh, Holy Spirit, Yeshua. That is what I can uh, suggest you, best I can do. And then I will do my best until my last breath. This is my com commitment. And Almighty Heavenly Father to give it to me the word. And our Lord, Yeshua Christ, is to give it to me the word. So what I have to do in this earth, I do my best for the sending out the message towards the sons and daughters all over the world. And true bride of Yeshua, our Lord Yeshua Christ is coming very, very soon. You must be prepared yourself to be raptured, which is like uh, according to the book of the Revelation, chapter 19, 7. You must be prepared yourself to be raptured yourself, pure, ritual, holy, and clean, with your righteous act, with a true repentance and true faith and the true believe with the Yeshua Christ. Our Lord Yeshua Christ is coming very soon. I saw the vision of the 2011, November 10. It is Yeshua Christ is with the thousands of the millions of the angels. It's a tremendous vision. I saw that. Brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ, you must be qualified to be raptured. So, Almighty Heavenly Father will not pick up everybody. You must get ready. 2017, Almighty Heavenly Father is giving to me the word. 2017, approximately August, and Almighty Heavenly Father is show me about Yeshua Christ. Show me, and only uh, seven, uh, only eight percentage of the Christian is left behind. Only, only. 8% of the Christian is ready to be raptured. 92% of the Christian will be left behind. So I, it, was, it was not the first time to uh, explain to me a lot of a Christian will be left behind. So I was very curious and wonder. I was asked to the Yeshua Christ very personally, why so many Christians will be left behind? Yeshua Christ is very confirming, very, very clearly, because the rapture is happening. Um, there's, they are lukewarm Christian. They are spiritually, they are sleeping. That is why they will be left behind, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. 2017, Yeshua Christ's message was only um, 8% 2017 message only 8% of the Christian is ready to be raptured and 92% of the Christian it is not ready to be raptured because they are they are spiritually sleeping. I try to do my best, brothers and sisters in Yeshua Christ. So Yeshua Christ is coming.